my mind then. It's fine. We can move it. You can share it. But our fans are working. Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yes, I am that wife that wants everything to be right. Well, so it's, so it's only right because I set it up that way. That's, that's what, what right is. Alright. But in any case. Good morning. Woohoo! Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, it was a fabulous football weekend. Fabulous football weekend. Household. Fabulous football weekend. And Hawks win. And Bulls win. Knowles win. Bucks win. It's a four banger. It's good stuff. It's all good stuff. <laughs> no, not a very not a stressful weekend. We had a a good weekend with football. But I don't know. I watched a, I, you know, I, was, I was, had to listen to the Knowles game on the radio. It was pretty stressful. <laughs> it's up at two in the morning. But he's wearing his Florida State gear today. I wear it anyway, though. Even if we lose, we still anyway. are fans of Florida State. So, um, but uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to be a football wife. And for all of you who um, are your significant other is into football, then you can. Football. This season of the year. On Sundays and Monday nights, you kind of lose them. Saturday. Saturdays, yeah, for college. And then Fridays for high school. <laughs> and even Thursdays for high school if you if you have a, a junior uh, JV a player. JV, yeah. So it's football from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday um, for, 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 for real football fans. So... This um, show, I decided to go and talk about uh, how to be a wife of a, a football fan. My first, my first advice: learn to love football. <laughs> learn to love it. Learn to love football because in that way you can still spend time with your significant other, and you're having fun. It's just another thing that you two can do together. Yes, yeah, I think it's like anything else. I think it's like um, when um, when guys have to learn um, to, to to shop or to or to cook or to look for antiques or something that their wife likes to do. I watch four weddings. I watch four weddings, <laughs> or whatever whatever it is. Um, and, and, and it may be not have been your thing, your thing, whatever that is, but because it's her thing and she wants you to participate, you participate, you, and you, and you try to participate at the highest level you can, um, learn, learn it, uh, and you may not learn to love it, but you, you love her, so you participate, um, so... And and that and that could be any any number of things, and, and I don't think that that football is is any different than that. Now, wives, the best part I'll tell you the best part about football season is the shortest of the sports seasons. Yes, at least it's not a baseball. It game. starts in August, <laughs> and it's normally I mean it's 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 normally fizzled out by January for most fans. Who are fans of a particular teams because either their teams are, aren't, aren't in championship games or playoff games, um, and the games dwindle down in the playoffs to fewer and fewer games a week. So uh, it's the shortest of the season. It's not like baseball that lasts, um, golly, from like April through through October, uh, and then basketball starting up now in hockey. Every other season is longer. Basketball has um, eighty. Eight games. Hockey's got like 84 games. Baseball's got 168 games. Uh, football normally has 16 games and comes on once and comes on once a week. If your football husband is dedicated to one team, like the um, Green Bay Packers, for instance, who won last night after trailing 23 to nothing in the into the, the third quarter. Aaron Rodgers got hurt. Take it off on the stretcher. Wow. And then came back. 
and then was amazing in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and beat Chicago. Yeah, Mike and Pastor aren't happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're from Chicago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, you know, in, in, anyway, it's the shortest season. And it is, the game's, first of all, not that complicated. And it's like anything else. If you learn to understand it, it may or may not be boring. The biggest thing you hear is boring. It's not boring. And <laughs> what I did when my son went to high school, he decided he wanted to play football. And I was fine with that. Um, we were JV, JV parents. parents um, the first year. And then the last two years, he played varsity. So... When um, what I learned is that when they uh, the programs at the football games that that we would go to, they had a program in the back. They had a, a chart teaching you about football, what the different signs are, what all of the different things mean, and and all of that. So I took it upon myself to to learn and and I've been a cat I had been a casual football lover you know you have your different teams you like and stuff like that and um, you you know certain things but I learned all the signals all the different things everything that it meant I studied that because it, it was my son and I wanted to know what was going on on the field so I took it upon myself to do that and once I learned that then I could understand the game and once you understand the game and know what's going on on the field and you're not just watching it because they got on cute uniforms then you start to like it. That color? <laughs> like, like Florida State a lot of people were like ah. oh uh, the first Florida State loss I, I, we were more negative comments about the, why they got to wear the black uniform yeah why can't they block <laughs> Look at you block and tackle. It's not just about the uniform. I don't care if they're wearing pink tutus. As long as tackle they some, Tackle somebody. But um, I, that's Jesus. how I learned in, that, in those years. I learned what the signals are and all this stuff. So then I dedicated myself to, on Sundays, when they want to watch football, I watched football. And... Uh, and learn all the players and different things. And back in, in when during that time, I learned all the Buccaneer players and what their positions were and all that stuff. I'm not too up on it now because we have a totally different team, and I gotta learn those players again. But um, the, learn learn to love what your significant other loves. Learn to enjoy some of the things that they like, and it'll make things easier. Now. My advice for you women who just simply don't want to learn it, don't want to be a part of it, then you need to put you a savings account together so that when they're doing that, you can go shopping. Do, do something else. <laughs> do something with your girlfriend. As opposed to being the... Whiny and complaining. Ah, you gotta watch a football, football game. Man. Well, it's the third game of the season, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's only going to be eight, there's only going to be eight more. There's only going to be eight more. Um, and if they're watching, and, and frankly, you know, ladies, if they're watching from home from your living room and they're not out at a sports bar. Or in their man cave. Or somewhere else, they're, they're there. In, that's not the worst situation that you could have. So, yeah. And, and, and Debbie's right. Find something else. Find something else positive to do. Um, if you want to go shopping, go shopping. Um, if you know what, if you save up your money and buy another TV, yeah, put it somewhere else. Just go into to your she shed if you have she one. Shed. <laughs> she shed. She <laughs> shed. Or go into your bedroom or the other room, wherever, and do what you want to do. Um, read a book. You know, find you a book that you want to read during this period. A couple of books that you want to do. Um, some kind of project, something something that you enjoy doing that you don't have to sit and be bored or sit and, and complain to him. Don't make his football experience miserable. It's don't make shortest, it where he feels he has to leave the house to watch his football. It's the shortest season of all. It is. Um, and sometimes his favorite team's not even on television. 
uh, yeah, so he's gonna watch something else because he likes it. And 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 they do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. They make it short because every game ends up being more valuable that way, and they get my eyeballs on on, on it that way. Uh, you guys who, who like baseball, you don't have the you don't have the, the kind of excuse. Um, you have 88 home games, and you have 168 games. Most of the time you can watch on TV. So, you know what, if you miss a couple, not the worst thing in the world. I think sometimes people complain because it seems like they start watching football at 11 o'clock in the morning and it goes through 9 o'clock at night. Because mm -hmm. it does. It does. <laughs> because it does. Uh, and that's really two games. And why are the games so long? Commercials on TV. That's why they're so long. That's why Four Weddings is way longer than it has to be. Because of commercials. Much longer than it has to be because of commercials. Um, that's why. So, um, again, if you could just, if, if, every, if everybody can just be understanding, um, I think that that works better. And I think Debbie has a good point. If you can learn to, to like it or understand it and like it, I think that that will be a bonding experience yes. for you. Um, something that you have in common. And that way you can walk around like the cute couple that you dis that that you were shocked by when you were a young couple in matching t-shirts. <laughs> you all got your game gear on. <laughs> Why? It's game day. Don't you know you're a public and you're getting wings or whatever and 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 definitely if your son or your you have family members that are into it and they're playing Go and support them. Be there for them. Yes. Don't stay at home just because you don't like football. It's not my thing. You you uh. need to support them in in what they are doing and and you know because a lot of them start out when they're tiny. You know people put their kids in football and the the, the what is it um they have Pop Warner and Pop Warner and, PAL and, and all of that stuff and they are doing well you know they could be a, end up being a great career for them so support them if they want to do um, the football sports and basketball all of that stuff wives and mothers be there for your son yeah it isn't just a dad thing it isn't just a dad thing um, because when he gets on television who's he gonna say hello go to <laughs> He scores the <laughs> touchdown, yes, and he turns to the camera, and the first thing he goes is, Hi, Mom. <laughs> now, she wasn't out there throwing the passes, she wasn't out there doing any of that stuff, but the first person he says hello to is, So, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and it isn't just a football thing, but be supportive, especially if your children are involved, be supportive. Uh, whether they decide to do ballet, or, or music, or... Or, or, or a sport that you may not be up on, like volleyball. Uh, I saw a lot when I was at Durant, I saw a lot of volleyball dads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of volleyball dads. Their kids were playing volleyball, uh, you know what, and, and, and the dads were there all the time. And that wasn't their thing. Their thing was football because we're supposed to the South. Um, and they were there, or their kid decided to play soccer, so they were playing the other football. Uh, and, their parent, and, their, and, 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 and their parents were there. Uh, I think that you get a lot, you know, vibing on, on, on what you just said. I think you get a lot of mileage in relationship with your kids when you, when support, you support them yeah. when they're young that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it means a lot. And you get to build that relationship over time. And I think that it pays huge dividends when they're older. Um, so if you have the opportunity to do that, please do that. Don't just say, I don't like it. I don't like football. I don't oh, like baseball. Oh, that's his dad and him yeah. and his dad do that together. You know, you need to be there too. Go to. Go. You need to be there as well. Wear a hat. <laughs> be a loud mom in the in the stands supporting your son. <laughs> scream. scream your kid's number. Nothing embarrassing more. It's great fun. Scream your kid's number. Um, and I think that that's really important. I, I, I think that you can, that, you know, what? A lot. there's a lot of angst sometimes and during, during this football season. I don't know why football season gets the bad rap. Um, because the other sports seasons are much longer. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's just more excitement about football for a lot of guys. And uh, some of the guys might have played when they were younger and have, have grown to love the sport. And I don't know why, again, why does football get such a bad rap? As being, because no one says that someone's a baseball widow. Nobody says that. Nobody <laughs> says, "Oh, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm a soccer widow. It's soccer season." Nobody, nobody, nobody says, says that. that. 
They say, I mean, they say that they're a football widow. During football season. Why? Why Why does football get the hate like that? Because it's popular. People like it. So people like it. Because it's fun. It's fun to watch and it's fun to go to. Uh, it's fun I, to have parties around it and do everything. Don't just watch football on the Super Bowl. Because you don't know. You won't know nothing that's going on. It is more about the <laughs> snacks in the game. Yes. And for and, and, and then you get a bigger disconnect because you, you you'll invite people who just want to watch the game, who don't care about the snacks, who don't care about the commercials. They, they just, just want to watch the game. They just want to see the game. And then you have that disconnect with the the people who are there for the gathering, the party, who won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and you put them out on the patio. Y'all go up there. <laughs> uh, so um, again, but the main point is, if 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 your spouse likes something, and they really like something. If it's not Brussels sprouts. This man will not eat Brussels sprouts. Because they're gross. They are not. They are so they gross. They are yummy. They're, oh, they're the antithesis of yummy. Like if yummy is over here, way up there, Brussels sprouts are way in the hell back there. <laughs> Brussels sprouts can't even see yummy where, where they are. They are so nasty. Unless it's Brussels sprouts. Uh, Learn to, or try to learn to to like it. I mean, maybe you're not going to become a rabbit fan. Uh, you know, I, as I was trying to set this up on on your Facebook page, where it is that where the show is now, I saw a post from a lady who who, who said that um, she, football's not really her thing, but she married this guy who made the environment easy and warm and inviting. And chill, mm -hmm. and he actually left the house during the game, to, during the Buccaneer game, and she found herself still watching the game, even rewinding to, to see, see a happens. play <laughs> that she missed. <laughs> for for some, it may be an acquired taste, uh, but I thought that was, I mean, I thought that was funny. And guys, if you if you've married a a, a, a person who really doesn't know much about the sport. Be ready to explain it, just like you were ready to explain be it to somebody. Be patient with her. Be That's right. Be patient with them. Guys, be patient with your 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 girlfriend or your wife or whatever, you know, and 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 explain to them what's going on. If they show it, an interest, yes, develop it. it. Don't get angry if she asks questions. Well, what? Because that's what I do. I I ask a lot of questions, and my my son does get impatient with me. He's like, well, because he's more, because he's more like you. Yeah, he is like me. <laughs> Uh, but 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 really is good about that. He will he will explain to me and go you know. Now sometimes I do get a look like, are you what is only because she gets a teacher look because we've talked about this before. I and, and I, I forget and I can't help the teacher look. I've been fifteen point one years in the classroom, and sometimes and, and you'll get the teacher look too. Yes, you. Out there, we'll get the teacher look because I said, "Haven't didn't we talk? Didn't we talk about, about this? this? Didn't we just talk about this a minute ago? Where were you 15 seconds ago when we were talking about this?" Now the questions that I ask mainly now is, "Who is that? Who's their coach?" And sometimes What's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I don't Alex know. Alex knows everything, but um, sometimes I will ask all of those questions and stuff because I I'm not familiar right now with a lot of the coaches. Tom um, Landry died, by the way. Changed, they <laughs> changed stuff up so much. And uh, and you don't... You don't know. know. Like you asked me yesterday who the coach was, who that guy was, who was the coach of the, of the Dallas Cowboys, and I had to go, Jason Garrett. It's not Tom Landry? No, Tom, Tom Landry's dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the ring of honor, and he is uh, in the ground. Uh, no, Tom Landry is no longer the coach of the Dallas Cowboys. And Bob Hayes doesn't play for them anymore either. Uh, but uh, no, I had to go. Oh. And Roger Stockbaugh. Roger Stockbaugh doesn't play for them anymore either. Uh, and, and Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith doesn't play for them. None of those guys play anymore. Uh, so it took me a second to go. Oh, Jason Garrett. Yeah. Uh, because you know, my interest, my interests have become more broad as well, and I don't spend as much. And I, and as time goes on, I don't spend as much time. Um, and. and this, Tony Dorsett. 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 
when he started yeah, playing yeah. his first his rookie he was Tony Dorsett, and then when he became good and famous and started making money, now was Tony Dorsett. It's a kid plays. Yes. It's kids movie. I, I know you showed that. Um, but um, but if they ask, you know, if, if if they seem interested, genuinely interested, and ask a question, answer it. If you know the answer. If you don't know the answer, don't be Pat Summerall, who some of y'all don't know who the hell that is, but that's okay. For those of you who, who, who do, this is funny. Um, just answer the question as best you can. Just sort of explain it to the best of your ability. Uh, so why are they running that way? Because they chose to. I don't know. Why didn't he throw the ball? Because he was in front of the line where they snapped the ball. Don't say, well, he was ahead of the line of scrimmage. Because then that, that gets another you're question. Like, What's well, the line of scrimmage? <laughs> and now you're mad, right? Don't say it in a manner where they don't understand no, totally. Because then you have to explain everything. Yes. Women yes. are detail-oriented. So we want to know details. And during the game, there's, there's way too much things going on at the same time to get too detailed by anything. Don't use jargon or term that you think that they ought to know when they don't have any idea. I mean, you know what? I think it's a good exercise in communicating. I think it's a great exercise in communication between the spouses. I think it's a great exercise because then you learn how to say, how to say things, how to say things with the right tone and timbre, mm -hmm. and 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 how and, and how you understand, like like Debbie said. The, your girlfriend or your spouse wants to hear more detailed um, explanations about things and hopefully your spouse or your girlfriend understands that they may have to start in a more general sense which you're more comfortable with and then move into a more detailed thing as opposed to actually asking about a specific thing uh, why are there socks have to be up? it's a rule, how come? I don't know Stupid rule. <laughs> I think mean, because they don't want to pay money. They don't want to pay money for having their slots now. Uh, you know what? Whatever, oh, whatever happens to happen. And then know when to ask questions. I mean, if they're intensely into a play or something, don't don't interrupt while they're concentrating. After the play is over, then ask, you know, so why did that happen? What what, what went on What was there? that penalty there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and why is that a penalty or whatever? But, again, this is a great time to learn something together. Um, and it's a great time to learn something together that doesn't matter. It's, it's a, just... It's safe. It's I just know, football. and a lot of you women are like, it's just football. Yeah, it's just football. It's just football, but it means something. But it means something to your... It does. Your man. We like it. It's glad. It's a gladiator sport, and we get to and we get to cheer our gladiator. I would, that's what it is. It's a gladiator sport. Uh, where we get to cheer our gladiators. We get to cheer our side. Go out there and crush them. Yes. Uh, yes. We get to. We get to do that, and that's something primal about guys. Uh, and um, and it only happens for a few weeks in the fall. And a funny thing that it, well, it's not funny because he's hurting. But my son got injured in a football game this weekend. <laughs> Yes, not playing, <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> He's a photographer for played, sports. Played for three and years at a, at a you know what at a, at a, at, a, at a really really good high school. Uh, played offensive line, didn't get hurt, and now he's um, working for a photography company and got rolled up on in a high school game. Now his his high school team happened to be playing at that game. Yes. Um, but the play went out of bounds, and you've seen it. You watched it where the photographer, photographer get, gets in the way, ran over. <laughs> He was one of those this weekend. And he almost got away, but not quite. Not quite. And so he's been limping for a week, but uh, he's not fine. Not a week, a couple of days. A couple of days. He's fine. That happened Friday. Oh, that's right. It, it happened Friday. He's fine. He's fine. He's still limping. He sort of tweaked his ankle a little bit. Uh, so it was kind of funny. It's like, you played all that time and had, Never people, got hurt. had people step on your feet who weighed a lot more than you did and pushed you around and didn't get hurt. And then you were taking pictures and you got hurt. Photography is dangerous. <laughs> Unless your kids take pictures, photography is dangerous. <laughs> gotta do something about about that. It's dangerous. Gotta, gotta protect put, those photographers. Put a on helmet the or something on. Put, put up a wall or something because it's just dangerous. <laughs> yeah, and, and I know parents are you know are worried about you know what 
kids' safety and stuff. Yes, and that's and those are good things to worry about. Uh, always worry about their safety, uh, but not to the point where you can wrap them in bubble wrap because you can't wrap your kids in bubble wrap. And I think that, that, that that's going to be a topic um, for, for you know we're going to do a, uh, for, a, for people who have children about you know what about children protecting your children. Yeah, you know you. Can't there wrap is it in a bubble limit. wrap. You can't wrap. There is a limit. They, they, there is. At some point, they're going to get out there and, and, and scrape a knee, uh, or scrape an elbow, or yes. fall off, fall off a bicycle. For goodness sakes, if your son wants to play football, let him play football. If he if he is of size, uh, and, and and he's healthy, uh, and you and you've taken every precaution that you can, um, yeah, yeah. You know, people get people do get hurt. People people get hurt. You know. Riding the you know riding the bus, people get hurt. You know what? You know walking, walking the car. Down the street. Yeah, I mean you can trip over. Oh, I mean, oh, you can trip over a crack on the sidewalk and blow on a knee. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah, life can be. Well, not you didn't trip though. No. You know you lifted your leg off on, on, onto the curb and then your knee went. Ah! Uh, so it is. So you can't as much as we want to, and this is not the topic today, but as much as you want to protect your child, you can't protect them against everything. They're going to get a bug bite. They're going to get a, a, a wasp sting. Uh, they're going to get a cut. They're because they're going to, and especially if they're boys. You just can't wrap them up in the house in bubble wrap and hope they never get their feelings or their bodies hurt. It's just, it just isn't realistic. Um, so if so if football is something they they want to do and they're of the proper size to do, and um, you've done all your due diligence, yeah, and then just pay attention. And if you go to the games and support them, you'll be able to watch and see. Yes. And that, I think that will calm people. Will help you feel better, better about, about it. it. As opposed to sending them there. off in, you know, in their gladiator gear with their dad or, or, or the neighbors. And then something happened and you weren't there and you didn't really see how it all took place. Um, you'll feel worse. You'll feel worse. So, yeah. Uh, it's football season. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Just started full football, full Florida football season this um, this past um, this past weekend. Again, Friday the Hawks win. Onward Hawks. Where my son went to high school. Uh, my alma mater got crushed. Brandon. Brandon High. got crushed. I don't know what happened. By Jefferson. Um, they yeah they lost to you know, but my high school lost to Jefferson, not your Jefferson, but no. but mm -hmm. Tampa Jefferson. Um, but um, Bulls win. Both beat Georgia Tech. And Florida when, State. Won. Florida State wins. Get by Samford. Who? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but a, but a win. A game. Screw it. A win is a win. <laughs> uh, and the Bucks and the Bucks put up forty eight on. Bucks played good yesterday. On New Orleans, in New Orleans. So that's it. that. That was exciting. Who that? Who that? Who that lost in the Bucks? Who that? Who that? We that? We that beat them. Beat them Saints. That's it. So. <laughs> Pastor Ron. Pastor Ron, I know you're watching. I know you're watching. You, you hurting this morning. I know. You're sad. You're very sad. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Y'all are going to come down here and um, get beat again, but that's okay. I can't wait for that. So, anyway, enjoy the season um, as it leads to the holiday season. See, that's why they have football season as a perfect lead in to the holiday oh, season. Is. Almost like a Hallmark thing. It's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so. So enjoy it. Listen, we got a guy here making up for somebody else. Yes. So until we see Sorry you again. Sorry for the technical difficulties. But y'all know that happens. But, um. And on YouTube, y'all aren't going to see any of that. Y'all didn't see any of it. It happened before you came on. And thank you all for signing up for our YouTube channel. We're almost at the 50 mark. At 49. Yes. We have eight so, this week. Go out to YouTube, sign up, like, share. And subscribe. And subscribe. And comment. We like to hear your comments and and what you'd like to see and what. And we try to get to and we try to get to your comments um, as soon as soon as we see them. So if you comment, it, 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 it's not going to be six weeks before you hear back from us. You're gonna, it's going to be right away. It's going to usually be the same day. Um, so if you've got questions, if you've got um, got questions, we got answers. <laughs> Radio, Radio Shack. Shack. They're going to. <laughs> Uh, so, um, that's the people who were Radio Shack widows too. Yes. They would come into the, they would come into the shack and go, my husband's here all the time. I don't know why. 
Club Radio Shack was cool as hell. That's why. <laughs> it was cool. It had a bunch of our toys in it. That's why. Uh, but in any case, um, so right, we got we, we to gotta get out of here and make room for somebody else. And so until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sake, y'all yes. take care of yourself. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Please tell your friends. Um, we have grown from from zero to 49 last look. And, Close uh, to our 50 uh, mark. 50, which is our first milestone. Our second milestone, of course, will be 100. And then we'll be able to get a, um, a, 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 a channel name yes. that's a lot easier than... Um, XRQBL3 underscore 7, which is whatever our channel name is now. Uh, and we will, maybe we can get, do a giveaway. We can get to 100? 100, yeah. I don't know. Let's see, what do we have to give away? Oh, this clock. This is a great clock. Listen, no. listen. You want this. No, you don't. <laughs> you want this so much. No, we'll we give will this away. actually give away something substantial, like some Avon products it's pretty, or something it's like that. It's pretty substantial. Yeah. And it talks. It's 10 o'clock AM, 76 If you want that instead, just let us know in the comments. we got to get out of here. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. For goodness sake, Thank take you care for yourself. watching. Peace. Thank you.